every time they say dad, that's just the best, that's just the best word. I, I just get emotional thinking about that because they're mine. Ole Cantos became a dad a decade ago. That's when he first met and fell in love with the triplets. I'm Nick. Yeah. I'm Steven. I'm Leo. Like the brothers, Cantos was born blind. A lawyer with the education department, he started mentoring the boys when they were just 10 years old. He was by their side as they went from being bullied to brave Eagle Scouts. He was awesome. Now he is praying that the same determination will get them through this latest life challenge. To be honest, I, I'm optimistic, but I'm still scared. Uh, until the day that Leo walks out of that hospital and has high oxygen levels and, and is well, I'm going to be just worried sick. All three young men, now 20, contracted COVID-19. Leo was just admitted to the hospital two days ago. Someone somewhere tracked the virus in and, and made them all sick. And they never left the house. So it's just important to understand that, that everybody has a role to play. And though he can't be by Leo's bedside, Cantos keeps close with constant call monitoring. You have held vigil at Leo's side. Though he isn't speaking, he knows that you're there. That's right. We have a tapping system, one for yes, two for no. He wakes up in the middle of the night and tries to call out. And even when it's not loud, I, I wake up and I say, yes, son, I'm here. I'm not leaving your side. And despite the diagnosis, these young men are in good spirits, including Leo, who even in his hospital bed is showing the same strength and courage that has helped him defy the odds thus far. And he feels that literally not being afraid of this virus and literally laughing at it and say, you know what, I'm going to beat you. Whatever you try to do to me, you may be ha seem to have an upper hand at the moment, but that's just temporary because we're going to make this work and, and I'm going to win. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Canto says each of the triplets are in different stages of the virus. Two of them are recovering at home right now.